Two North Dakota farmers tinkering in their shed developed the first self-propelled crop sprayer of its kind, a high-speed, low-clearance machine that could quickly and efficiently spray large acreages of wheat and other crops with fertilizers and chemicals. That was 50 years ago. Called a spray coop, what they created was an odd-looking machine with an airplane-like fuselage and a small cockpit with dedicated controls. From those humble beginnings, Spray Coop has paved the way for the monster agricultural sprayers you see today that meet the ever-changing demands of modern high-intensity agriculture. These sprayers have allowed farmers to farm more land more efficiently, so much so that today less than 2% of the U.S. population produces food and fiber for the remaining 98%. There are spray coops still in use today that are 30 or more years old and they still work on farmland, not only in the U.S., but all over the world. The original spray coop prototype is still on display at the Agco Manufacturing Plant in Jackson, Minnesota.